Hi, my name is Luis Antonio Pichardo, and I'm the founder and executive director of DST Arts. Distill Arts, as I call it, is a nonprofit arts mentorship organization that inspires, teaches, and hires emerging artists from underserved communities. With this video, we're celebrating the release of one of our most recent Conchas y Café zines titled See My Words. See My Words is a little zine that collects work produced through our Conchas y Café bilingual community writing workshop series. The theme of this particular zine and series was voice, the artistic voice, and our participants all engaged in a variety of activities that helped them define their own personal voice. The following is a small selection of works performed by the original artists, the original writers, the original poets who make up our Conchas y Café community. We hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Dr. Rosy Ramos. I uh, was a participant with the Distilled Arts Conchas y Café uh, writing workshop. And through that program, we created, the compañeros and I created a wonderful book of our writings. Our, we used our artistic voice to create these poems, and it's called See My Words. So I want to recite one of my first poems to you. It's called Poet Words. Poet words are unique. I love pouring out my feelings and emotions on aesthetically metamorphosed tree products. Your thoughts and emotions are intriguing to this poet. The conscience mind, the iceberg above sea level navigates this poet's pen to create endless words. My imagination and words freely travel like Pegasus, the symbol of creativity and inspiration. Dare to catch these words. They appeal to you, yet some words may slip by and mean nothing. I merely ask, hear my words and hear me out. My words will climb onto conscience minds like magical river streams of the dreams, life dreams for the believers. Imagine the iceberg that steers and controls the course of your conscious minds drift slowly above your sea surface mind, craving to be challenged by others. You see my words, you feel my words, zealous to expand your conscious iceberg with this poet's unique words. Thank you. The Process of Joy Sensitive and slow, I listen to each sound caress my ears, each consonant brush my lips, each emphasis echo in my own pulse. No one is here to say delicada. Here I fit for now, intentional with every decision, every line, break. I can't rush this, love. Hi, this is Dr. Rosie Ramos, and I'm going to recite to you another one of my poems from this wonderful Zing book that was created through Distilled Arts Conchas y Café writing course. Um, the assignment was that, in my case, I was to, you know, what worries me, what concerns me. So in using my creative voice, I thought of this particular poem, and it's called, My Bones Are Worthless. Oh no, my torn rotator cuff, pieces of bones connected to this crooked body, 
drags me down like an old, rusty, dangling, heavy chain. Ugh. I had to stop swimming, dancing, exercising. Poor genes. Bone deterioration. Your age, my doctor said. Ay, 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 ouch, surgery is needed. I've cried. I've prayed. What else is left? Fry imagery. Music. A glass of wine. But not too much, my nutritionist said. Hey! Forget the wine and booze it up, my amigo said. So, the hell with tormenting myself of my future pains. I'm going to live it up with my tequila, sabrosa tequila. Mmm. Ouch. My name is Abraham Jaramillo. The worst nightmare. Open your mouth. Dental affair. All worries banished. The miracle of modern healthcare. My tongue cares not of words. So soft, everything my fingers touch. I glide on the back seat of my ride home. Clouds of fibers on my mouth. My driver's mission done. I am home. Thank you. Title, Clouds of Cotton on My Mouth. Hi guys, I'll be reading my poem that I wrote and it's called Writing Prompts by Elena Abravena. What I did over the weekend is I got my flu shot on Wednesday evening and I was so brave I did not cry or move. And basically it is because I sat still, I screamed a little bit, but after that I went to the library before I get my flu shot and reading books and having a class online on Zoom and tutoring to help me. It makes me feel better and really makes me smarter and smarter. And my goal is to get a job working at Starbucks and becoming a barista and customer service. What do you think the job is related to? Do you get along with people? Do you shake hands? When the interviewer says the job, well, my main goal is to become professional and not gossip with other people and be rude. Make or, or make mean faces just to get me out. You should, how, how should this person handle this situation? And what happens if a stranger is bullying you? Do you scream or do you walk away? And that's the end of my poetry. Thank you everyone for coming and we will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello. In Using Our Creative Voices, I will be reciting another poem from this Zinc book. See my words? Okay. And it's called Alter Ego, My Alternative Self. Nameless Soul, a.k.a. Dr. Rosie Ramos, who struggles through my protective shield, nameless soul, flat affect, yet dependent, timeless, yet unrevealed, whose lively motions can be concealed. Intermittently, I heard Inner roars, friends from the past, 
encouraged street fighting and drugs, like unwavering, punishing, relentless swarms of hornets surrounding this teen girl who lived amongst them. The inner roars proceed to break through, becoming transcendent, succumbing to this teen outburst emotions. A larger than life, strong, human, nameless soul, when pissed, transforms to a dependable, brilliantly intense red green color. Enraged, one powerful punch deforms entire corrupt cities and her Rottweiler devouring friends with superpowers when needed and performed when done. The red green colors subside and gentle submission of calmness is felt. This one, I know you know, makes me feel strong, protected, becomes between the natural growing of bones and muscles, from mind and heart, especially when growing up. Rage kept this teen apart. Family's love built her integrity and moral values. The Almighty's best piece of art. I still have reasons for my nameless soul to hang around longer now as an adult. You know me best, my thoughts, my feelings, when happy and sad. Thank you. The Invisible Woman. Now you see me, now you don't. You don't really get me. No longer want you to try. Move over, just let me walk on by. Now you see me, now you don't. I don't owe you a thing. I harness energy, converge to a being, mi nawal, something of which you know nothing. Now you see me, now you don't. You've forgotten my past. I have, just as fast. A giant eraser, Wiped clean that slate. I defied death. You never knew my fate. Brimming. Heart overflows onto my lap. Hello. I'm going to recite another poem using my creative voices through distilled arts. Conchas y Cafés writing workshop. It's called Celebration of My Voice That Will Not Be Quieted Down by Dr. Rosie Ramos. My familia. Dysfunctional yet juntos como chicle. Enmeshed, como mashed potatoes with no individualized self-identity. Dysfunctional yelling and arguing for senseless reasons. As long as I had the last word in. <laughs> we all realize the importance of keeping this crazy family together by embracing family gatherings. Although living miles away from each other with cantos de amor y cariño, guitarras, maracas, claves, tambores, Singing rancheras, baladas, and oldies but goodies. Mmm, homemade aroma comidas. Ay, tamales, sopas, caldos, y más 
that even without a gust of wind, smoothly fills the atmosphere, mm. intrudes through our nostrils as we drive closer from different directions to reach La Casa. Muchas fiestas, piñatas de lindos colores, y tequila for everyone. Ahua! My ancestors, antique and recent photos, chain of descendants, welcoming your guidance. I constantly visit your altar. Sarapes de muchos colores drape your table. Calaveras lit up red, green, white. Candles melt onto the platitos, shining a flickering light from the candles onto each photo of my brave ancestors who paved the ways of life with their callous, cut up, changed colors of aging hands from hard labor. Combined with long hours of walking the picket line to fight for equality. Offering gifts for your journey beyond. Supernatural within strength of confidence and a bold persuasive voice I gain from all of you. Gracias. The Valley Girl Conundrum. Okay, so yeah, maybe I do, you know, talk like a valley girl. Honestly, I don't even try. Like, it just comes out. I can't help that the valley is my birthright. San Fernando? I don't really know who that is, but I'm sure he's cool. Closer to the coast, right? Closer than this dry basin that nobody really knows, but that I know, like I know the wrinkles on my palms. This central valley, I guess, is home. I feel like when I'm home, all of me should be accepted. When I'm home, I'll know it. Yet this valley, that's supposed to be my valley, hasn't seemed to take me in the way I've taken in the verdant fields, the grumpy cows, the VOCs blowing in the wind. Yes, I talk like where I come from, but I can't like totally be myself. I can't say, dang girl, okay, and utterly impressive in the same context. Why? God, you put me here with a purpose and a passion and a love for people, but mighty Jesus, where do I belong? Hi, how are we doing? Today I'm gonna read a poem from our last scene, Concha y Café, titled See My Words, that's the name of the scene, and it goes like this. Apocosi, I break the silence. After all, this person has talked for more than 30 minutes, and due to my sitting, I couldn't walk out. I wish I had put a sock in his mouth. Chale, chale, chale. Me vas a decir, you did all this, set a successful business, selling this and that, who knows what, yet you want to help us? Did I miss anything, or does this sound like a pinche pyramid scheme? Sir, I just want to help my community, make them and you financially successful, the presenter energetically said, pointing con un anillo en cada dedo, then I said, Señor, yo no me chupo el dedo. And yet, I didn't pull the trigger on my middle finger, yet. A ver, a ver, a ver. You haven't shown us the numbers of sales and profits. You barely said anything acerca de este gran producto. Ah, pero eso sí. You have, in detail, shown us how to get more team members that should report to us, who in return report to someone, who then, I assume, will report to you. 
I turn to the crowd. The presenter is a scammer, not your savior. Then I pull the trigger on walk out. Thank you. Title A poco si by Captain Chale, aka your surely Abraham Jaramillo. Hey, Hugo Raza. Today I will be reciting another poem using my creative voice uh, through the Distilled Arts Conchas y Café workshop. The name of the poem is called I'll Take That Leap. I love to stride through the streets of East LA. La Virgen's mural comes to life, blessing me every day, speaking Spanish, English, Spanglish, in the 70s, raza, we won. La Virgen's presence, then and today, makes me feel safe. You know, I'm okay. Dolores es si se puede words, teaches us, gente piel canela, que viva hope, viva la pasión, viva courage. Viva la raza. We sacrificed, successfully marched, united and protested then. Today, it's complicated. You know, pero a ver qué pasa. Many changes made, and many more must come. Mi gente, never give up or become complacent. Remember, where you from? The past? I hung out with my carnales, a beer in hand. We rode in fancy ramplas on weekends down Whittier Boulevard while listening to our oldies but goodies, Rolas, was a bomb. Live with passion, commitment, and cariño. Y a la brava con todo. Reach out to family, friends, especially the Almighty. But never write solo. It is what it is. You know, don't allow yourself to become numb. Hold your head up high and trust yourself. Because you are not just a so-so. I made a promise to myself that I must keep. Go for it. You know, it's your life, so don't be cheap. My future path is uncertain, you know, but I'll take that leap. My future path is uncertain, you know, but I'll take that leap. This is Dr. Rosie Ramos. Thank you. Peace out.